Oh boy. Oh, no. Seven. I'll get one more. I'll get one more. Welcome back everyone to workout 004. Yes, I'm aware my shorts match the floor. Today we're sticking to our explosive speedier movement theme and we're back to the hinge pattern and the press and push pattern. We have three sets in part one, three sets in part two, so it should be a little quicker today as well. Part one, we're gonna start with our Romanian deadlift. It's a big hinge pattern, almost a stiff leg deadlift. We'll show you form when we get there. Then we're going into a explosive hang clean pattern. That movement's the exact same, whatever your implement is. So I'll be doing one set with a barbell, dumbbells and kettlebell just to show you the variations there. And then we're dropping to the floor to do some plyo explosive push-ups into negative push-ups just to teach you guys you don't need a barbell and a bench to get a crazy chest press workout. In part two, we're revisiting the kettlebell swing. That can be double bell, single bell, big jug of water, one dumbbell, whatever you have. After that, it's a kneeling single arm press. We're gonna pick the weight you have and just max out the reps. And then we're hitting the floor for some core and we're gonna be doing the Turkish sit up. You guys have probably heard of the Turkish get up. We are not even getting close to teaching you guys how to do that yet. So the Turkish setup is the baby movement. It will be great for core, 10 per side. I think I forgot a bunch of reps in the first part, but they're all on that side screen. So you can follow along and they pop up as we go through the workout. So let's get down to the floor for the warm up first. I love getting down to the floor to always start my warm ups, and you'll just need two light dumbbells for this warm up. Meet you there in a sec. Okay, guys, we're gonna go face down to the floor first. We did some scorpion kicks in the second last workout. We're gonna do shoulder clocking today to open up some range in the arm. So laying down, arm is going to start down at about 45 degrees and we're pinning the shoulder into the floor. Opposite arm comes around, touches floor if you can get there, linger for a sec, come back out, move the hand up just slightly. It's gonna get tighter each time you move the arm. Feel the range you have. Use your other hand here to push into the floor for a twist. Okay, come back out. Let's move the hand up a little further. Roll in, things get tighter. And out. And I can barely get past straight off the shoulder line, so I'm gonna stop on this position. You can get foot flat to floor. And out, go to the other side, start hand lower. Rolling in, pin the shoulder down to the ground. Don't let that shoulder lift. You can pulse in and out. Roll out, move the shoulder a little higher. Roll in. Roll out, in third position. Hope you guys have some music playing in the background. You guys figure that out, how to mix the audio with this video. I can hear the heavy metal blaring away somewhere. Okay, last position, straight off the shoulder line. Good, 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 oh, good. Pop up hands and knees, we love the cat cow. Get that spinal flexion, spinal extension looking up. Flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Keep going, two more. Starting now. One, two. Finger on temple, touch elbow to elbow, rotate the ceiling. Elbow to elbow, rotate the ceiling. Loosen it up, might get a few cracks. Hopefully your elbow ends up pointing sky high to 12 o'clock up there. Okay, next side. Good. From where you are, pop up for some scat push-ups. So again, lock the elbow, break the shoulder blade, drive away. Break the shoulder blade, drive away. Break shoulder blade up and down. <clears throat> okay, sit on your butt. Just a little 
baby crab extension. So arm turns back away from you, shoulder tucks back, dig the feet in, and we're just gonna try to elevate to a three-point crab. We won't extend, you can add the big extension if you know what you're doing. Drop the butt, again, no caving, never internal rotation, the shoulder forward, shoulders always going back. Elevate and hold, drop down. So we're shoulder stacking, trying to get load in a real safe arm position. Stack, down, kind of wakes the glutes up as well. Good, minimal twist in the hips. Try not to twist into this too early. Stay square, down. Next arm, crank it open. Set that shoulder blade back. Brace, push, drop. Push through the heel, make yourself a tabletop, drop. Tabletop, drop. And sometimes I find a mat sinks your palms. This is a little more painful versus a hard floor. You get a little more stability. Okay, great. Mat out of the way. Okay, remember a little sweeping the grass, hamstring stretches, pull the toe high. Are you gonna sweep that golf green or are you sweeping tall meadow grass? Sweeping through, sweeping through. Okay, we'll kind of do, we'll do a segmented roll here for the hamstrings. Basically a Jefferson curl if we had weight, starting with the chin, turn down and try to segment your spine, flexing the core, legs locked, see how far you can get, and then unroll back up. Flex your quads, don't let your knees bend. If you get stuck high, that's fine. Down, 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 and up. Roll the chin, commit the head. Try to get every vertebrae to bend, and up. Roll it down. Good. Every rep, you're going to get a little more range. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, make sure you come up one vertebrae at a time as well. Down, up, 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 up. Uh, one more. Down, up, 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 up. Okay, dumbbells. We'll do a few moves here and then we'll just go over a quick rehearsal on the hand clean movement and the negative push up uh, tactic approach for that. So, Dumbbells, let's start shoulder position and just start with your presses. Again, if you guys are limited in mobility, a single arm press is always a lot easier to do versus double at the same time. I have a little 15 pounders here, so I'm gonna go to 15 reps. I'm wondering if my mic is getting smacked every rep here. Okay, go to a split stance. This is kind of like an uppercut fly. So from here, lean back, tap the dumbbell, forward. Tap dumbbell, forward. Light touch, back. Light touch and linger, back. Squeeze them together. Feel the upper pecs and shoulders start to warm up. Okay, scoring up, dumbbell high pull, elbows lead the way, dumbbell stays low. Don't heave and bop yourself in the face of the dumbbell. High elbow, down. Okay, this is where we're gonna start the theme of the hang clean, keep that weight right against the body. Today the weight's coming straight up the body, we're not gonna be curling out in front of us. Few more. Three, two, feel the burn. 
one. Okay, I'll put these dumbbells down for a sec. Grabbing my dowel just to show you quickly the hang clean motion. Biggest reminder, especially with the barbell, we're not curling the weight out. We are getting a little baby hinge, pushing through the legs, manipulating that weight up the body, get the bar weightless, and then we're swinging under to catch the load, dropping right down, returning. If I'm teaching this in a class, I'll stand right in front of someone and say, give me your clean, and they have to come up and down, okay, without hitting me, or I'll get very unhappy. So you see how that works? If I try to curl, it's not gonna work. So, you guys could have been shadowing that as we go. Let's try a few with the dumbbell. Okay, we're gonna try to get an upwards pull on the dumbbell and then we're gonna manipulate the bell and catch at the top, a little pop and let it fall right back down. So no curl. Let's go for about 10 in a row. If you haven't been doing them already, we're pulling up the body, manipulate, down, up, down. You can do it right in front of a wall just to catch yourself on form. Okay, the heavier the weight, you might have to sneak under it to get the good catch. Yeah, kind of loading the whole body like a, a spring and then it's gonna shoot up and help us there. Good, and then just back down to the floor. I'll show you the approach we're gonna do for the negatives. It's basically a slow motion conditioning push up. We'll do 10 of them and then we'll move on. So in the push-ups, we're gonna max out plyo, or with the, sorry, 10 plyo. Then you're gonna see what kind of gas in the tank you have left. So we're gonna come up to tall position, work that strict negative to the floor, and then we're gonna worm out and escape. We're doing 10 of these. Down, full, full landing, escape. So we're resetting to the top position and focusing only on the eccentric. Down. Okay, the eccentric movement is way stronger than a concentric trying to come back up. And that's what it's going to look like. Controlled, but the fight's going to be way more legit because we're already going to burn out with regular push-ups. One more. I just saw a drop of sweat fall off my face. Ooh. Warm up complete. I'll see you guys in set one in a sec. Okay guys, set one, we have our barbell, dumbbells, or kettlebells. We're going for our Romanian deadlift. And then we're going into our hand cleans for 20 reps, 15 and 12. Our push-ups are always 10 plus max effort on the negative. So we're starting with the hand clean now. I'm gonna go sideways so you guys watch my form. Remember in our little hinge lesson, for a proper hinge, buck goes back, touches the imaginary target behind you. So coming up for RDL, lock your legs, soft unlock. Keep that position and then just worry about the hip hinge. Bar stays right along the shins, hamstrings, and glutes are going to take over to help this weight come up. First set, you might not be mobile enough to get the weight to the floor, so we'll wait for set two or three for that. Perfectly straight back. I got 95 pounds right now. There's 20. Wait down for a sec. Give yourself a shakeout. Okay, going into 20. Hand cleans, I'm just gonna use the barbell here. Here we go. Quick elbows to catch your weight. Apologies if this mic is getting smashed. Ooh. 
hopefully my bar is traveling more or less straight up and down. Oh, three more. Yeah. Okay. Rack this up. Oh, that'll get your grip. Okay, getting ready for 10 plyo push-ups and the negatives. So I'm just gonna put this towel down on my knees. Plyo is just explosive off the floor. If you're modifying again, you have to find the bench, milk crate, back of a couch, whatever you're using, counter, chest references, floor of your rep. Okay, 10 explosive. Yeah, you can clap those if you're feeling crazy. Okay, that's basically our pre-exhaustion. And we're gonna go right into the negatives now. So right off of that, up, slow drop, nice and slow. Uh, land, roll right back up quick and give yourself no rest from the negatives. Roll up, reset. The slower you go, the less you have to do. Mm. Keep a tight body line, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Keep going, keep going. Good. If you gas and we're still going, always hold a plank. If I'm talking too much, teaching a lesson, just drop into a plank. I'll end it there. Okay, set one done, pretty quick. Record your reps if you're doing that. Water break breather, see you back for set two. Okay, we're back for set two, 15 RDLs, 15 hang clean. I'm doing 250 pound dumbbells, so I'm up to 100 pounds total, so just a five pound jump. Dumbbells go the exact same way. We're just tracing right down the leg to your hamstring limit. Tight core, keep your brace strong always. Dumbbells just follow their plumb line to your shoelaces. Hip has to hinge backwards to get out of the way. Feet are digging firmly into floor. Okay. Get ready for the hand clean. Dumbbells are gonna live on the side of our body now. For 15, I'll give you a front view. Okay, facing forward. Legs are gonna help. One, drop. Two, drop. Three, drop. Four. Try to pull them up. Don't curl them up. Okay. Get yourself ready for the push up. Ooh. Catch your breath. It's not a race. Get into position. Ooh, those two moves get you going. Okay. 
10 plyo, you can clap, clap behind the back, whatever you want to do. Try to just leave the ground or just push as fast as you can. And then no rest, right into the negatives. Okay, roll up and do negative. Brutal. Control it. Catch your breath while we're doing this. Chin up out of the way so your chest can crash. Look down the floor, don't look into the floor. Look down the floor. Don't rest. No pausing. Let's just get back up. Yes, last one. Okay. Oh, out. Whoa. Set two finish. See you for set three. Okay, set three, we're just going for 12. I've jumped up to two green kettlebells now. So that's 24 kilo, two is about 105 pounds. So just five pound jumps each time. Position, movements are exactly the same. You're just holding kettlebells now. Instead of dumbbells, I find you can trace them just on the outside of the shin line. Oh, and these have a taller sitting position so I can get to the floor and up without breaking my back line. Remember to come up just vertical. Don't ever overextend. That'll crush your back. No good. Nice and slow. Time under tensions. The ultimate key. There's no point going as fast as you can. You might as well be doing 100 reps then. We want to live in it. Stay in the rep. For as long as you can. We don't have any tempo rules yet, but... I love my tempo, so we'll be sneaking in that in some future workouts. I lost count. Two more. One. And two. Putting down. Towel. Okay, the, the clean on kettlebelling is with the swing, but same thing. On the up, it's coming right up the body. On the down, you can throw them out to generate your swing force. 12 reps, so up the body. Get the rack, back down, up, back down, up, back down. One more. Swing, land out in front, wherever they came from. Catch your breath, plow push ups. Getting ready for them. Okay, 10 plyo, no breaks. Straight into the burn and the negative. Position. Up, negative, slow. Shoulder blades going backwards. Get up, get in. Okay. 
Hand width not too wide, not too narrow. One more. Yeah. Oh. Woo. All right, part one finished. Water break breather. See you back in part two. And my theory is, if I gotta put ads on these videos on YouTube, I'll put them right on the water break. So you might as well let them run, wink, wink, while you're catching your breath. And that'll give you more time to get ready for the next part. See you there. All right, welcome back everyone for part two. Remember, it's three sets. We're starting with 20 swings of any weight, any implement you want. Going down to kneeling press, just pick a fixed weight and max out the reps per side. And then third, we're getting down for the Turkish sit-up, 10 reps per side, holding a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you got. My 20 swings, I'm starting with double yellows here, so about 75-ish pounds, I think. Let's see what that happens. Remember, big hip hinge, explosive hips, snap the legs to a lock, we're never overextending a hinge of any kind. Here we go, 20 swings. Sweat, the sweat, the sweat. Woo. Okay, dropping down to one knee on a mat, floor, whatever you got. The arm you're pressing is the back leg. So I'm going to go 50 pounders, no cheating, just strict. And we'll see what we get. Squeeze your other hand, weight through that front foot. Sorry guys, worried about this mic getting crushed. So I'm thinking eight, eight reps per arm here. Yep, eight's my limit. Next side. My left arm, uh, heavy front foot, squeeze the opposite hand, uh, not good. Got to match eight. Yeah. Uh oh, take a little breather. Maybe I'm a little beyond my threshold here. Three. Okay. Clear some space. Got a towel here. I'm going to face you guys. So, dumbbell or kettlebell. And this is going to be the start of what the Turkish getup is. You guys can kind of see me here. Okay, bell is to our side. We're laying back. Roll over to get your dumbbell or your bell and lock it out. Straight arm. Same leg is bent. Opposite foot kicked to the side. I can't just do a sit up right now. So I'm going to use this foot to roll me out and this arm's elbow to pry up to stiff arm and back down. And you just keep your arm stacked. Keeping an eye on that bell so it doesn't move out of your vertical position. The whole body's gotta work together here. Uh, 
Good, two hands down, roll it off to the side. Two hands gets it around your head to the opposite side. Roll in, two hands rolls it to your body, two hands presses it up, get cozy, dig that same side foot in, push from the foot, rotate the body, use your elbow to pry up and down, up and down. I am soaked in sweat. This damn garage is so hot. Last one. Yeah. And catch it two hands to the chest, roll it off. Boom. So you don't pop your shoulder out. Oh my gosh. Set one or round one done. See you back in a sec for round two. Get a little water. Okay, we're back for round two. Still 20 swings. I'm going for double purples now. So 90-ish somewhere pounds. Here we go. Draw lots back. I'm not gonna hit that upright, am I? your breath catch your breath wipe the sweat so again I don't know why I do it but I like starting on the arm I just finished with doesn't seem fair but every other set it equals out it gives the one arm a better chance to break okay I don't think it's gonna be eight this time Single arm press. Eight. Oh, super compensation. There we go. Range of motion right to the body. Okay, clear that out of the way. Get your mat ready. Laying a towel down for me. And again, we'll start on the same side we finished with. Also, being lazy, you don't have to move your your bells or equipment at a position. It's just where you left it. Okay, roll in, double hand grab, double hand press, get it cozy, same knee bent, other leg kicked out, rotate, get up to stiff arm, back down, push through the foot, elbow to stiff arm, back down. Microphone wire is pulling. Not happy about it. Get it around the body to the other side. F off. Okay. Get the bell up. Strong foot. Go for it. Oh, 
I'm sliding backwards. Okay. Yeah. Land it. Nice. Okay, round two done. See you guys in round three. Okay, here we go for a third time. I'm just keeping these double purples here. 20 swing coming up. Catch your breath, get ready for kneeling press. Okay. Back to the first arm. And dig that foot, squeeze the opposite fist. Eight. Eight every set, good. Now let's see if I can do it with this guy. Oh, a few breaths. Okay, okay. Oh boy. No, seven. I'll get one more, I'll get one more. Got it. Okay, down on the ground for core. Core on the floor. Stop tightening on me. On the side we left off at. Dig that foot, two hand press, lock at the elbow. Where's my head? Get out of the way. Roll and begin. This one's not so nice after shoulder press. Two hand down, roll to the side. Two hand assist, over other side. Roll in to get it. Check my mic wire, come back. Okay, roll it in. Double arm press, off the mat. Normally I do this on the wood floor, but I don't fully trust this stupid stain. It's gonna roll off onto my clothes and my skin yet. Not a sit up. Think of it as a roll out to the side. Escape, escape this sit up with a roll. One more. Oh, another sweaty one. Workout four complete. Love you guys. Share this videos with friends. See you in workout 005.